Fatigue makes cowards of us all. It's often attributed to Coach Vince Lombardi. It actually belongs to General George Patton, and it's a great quote. I don't possess the passion for the Buffalo Bills of Pat Duffy, for instance, but I saw every snap of every game this year. And when it ended last Sunday, I was certainly disappointed, but mostly exhausted. So imagine how the team felt. The Bills began the season as a favorite to win the Super Bowl and remained so until only about a month ago. They beat two presumed contenders to start the season by a combined 55 points. There was immediate talk of going undefeated, but they lost all pro safety Micah Hyde, then free agent prize Von Miller went down, 77 inches of snow fell at Orchard Park and relocated a home game to Detroit. A month later, a blizzard killed 39 in Erie County. DeMar Hamlin nearly died on the field at Cincinnati, and the game was canceled. The NFL came up with a neutral field plan for the presumed Buffalo versus Kansas City AFC Championship game and then announced they'd sold it out while giving the Bengals the back of their hand. You think Cincinnati didn't gain any extra motivation from that little charade? If you believe that the point spread is a measure of expectation, as I do, consider the Bills went 4-8 and eight against the spread in their final 12 games this year. They were wearing out. Sure, there were football reasons the Buffalo was unceremoniously swept out of the playoffs, and I won't try to anal analyze strategy here. But the Bills collapsed under the weight of expectation, along with a unique and amazing array of challenges. There's a reason they're called Cinderella stories. It's because in real life, they don't often happen.